When you need a workstation today, you need a graphics workstation. With a desktop workstation, you have the option of upgrading the graphics. But with a mobile workstation, you have to make the right choice the first time. NVIDIA had a plan to expand your choices for mobile workstation graphics. It became known as Max-Q Designs. The result today is that both desktop replacement workstations and thin and light mobile workstations offer the full range of GPU options. Should you spend more money for the best performing GPU, or will you feel good about saving some of that money? That makes deciding between a Quadro T2000 and Quadro RTX 3000 one of the more critical choices. The RTX 3000 is more than twice the size of the T2000. Those extra transistors are eaten up by nearly twice the number of CUDA cores. The RTX 3000 also has 240 tensor cores for AI and 30 RT cores for ray tracing. However, that doesn't translate into double the performance. In the graphic tests from ViewPerf 2020, the performance gains of the RTX 3000 range from 22% to 58%. In the pure GPU computing test from Octane Bench, the RTX consistently holds a mid-70% to mid-80% performance advantage. In video application testing, the RTX's advantage swings wildly from 29% to more than 110%. These results seem to indicate that there are at least some cases where choosing the T2000 over the RTX 3000 makes good economic sense. However, none of these tests leverage the RT cores or the tensor cores of the RTX 3000. If your applications don't use these extra cores today, the chances are good that they will soon. Real-time ray tracing depends on both RT cores and tensor cores for performance. A number of useful video effects are accelerated with AI techniques. The same is true in real-time product simulation applications. And then there is the economic perspective. First, the extra costs are a one-time event. The higher performance is a recurring benefit for the next three years. And when looking at the total price of the mobile workstation, the choice becomes clear. A 15-inch model with a Quadro T2000, a fast 8-core CPU, 64 gigabytes of RAM, 2 terabytes of storage, and a 4K display comes in just over $5,000. Upgrade to a Quadro RTX 3000 and you will add less than $200 to the pre-tax cost. That is a 3 to 4% bump in price for a very real gain in performance and productivity. Your workstation's raw GPU performance will increase at least 20% and usually much more. It will have more graphics memory for complicated workflows. And your workstation will be equipped with RT cores and tensor cores that accelerate your workflows today and into the future. My guess is that you already see the point. Looking at the choice from this perspective, the Mobile Quadro RTX 3000 makes sense every time.